946, it is time now to imagine it. And we have Carl's Carnival happening here this morning. Hey, you know. thanks very much. All right, so 4th of July is over, but you're still gonna be seeing fireworks for the next few days, right? Right, yeah. So I thought, you know, we talk about the colors in fireworks are created by different metals. In this case, we got some iron in here, making some nice yellow sparks. Yeah. You can use copper, lithium, strontium, all that. But all those colors would literally be faded away without the most important component in fireworks. That's oxygen. Oh, oxygen. Good old oxygen. oxygen. Now, you would think, because that little guy there was burning really brightly, that there's plenty of oxygen in the air, right? You think? Not the case. No. I'll, I'll take that from you. Okay. Okay, so what you really need is an excess of oxygen to create those really brilliant fireworks, more than 20%. So pop on your safety glasses there. All right. We've got some steel wool here, and I'm gonna have you hold this. Go ahead and hold that tight. Got We're it. gonna see how steel burns in air with like 20% oxygen, okay? <laughs> so there you go. There's sort your like 4th of July fireworks. Homemade fireworks. It caught and the that, other that's steel okay. wool. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't hold that though, because that'll burn Good up Good idea. Top. That's why you're the scientist. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's what would happen if fireworks had just the oxygen in the air. All right, so let's take it up a notch and let's add some, go ahead and drop that. Drop this one. Yep, I've got some liquid oxygen here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour it into that beaker and what you're gonna do is take this piece of steel wool, uh -huh. hold it at the top. Like this? Yep, and extend your arm for this one because we've got <laughs> excess oxygen here. Right. I'm gonna pour this in, then we're gonna light it and you just gently lower that down into the beaker. Okay. okay? And we'll just see what happens if we have a lot of oxygen. So there's our liquid oxygen. Back away from your sets. Yeah, yep, yep. yeah, yeah. Slowly, see? gently. Slowly, gently, there you go. Wow. Okay, so, <laughs> and it was so hot, I think we got some molten iron there that yeah. broke the beaker. Oh, whoops. Okay, so that's where firework manufacturers will put in things like nitrates, perchlorates, to make those colors very, very brilliant. You saw that was much brighter than if we had just burned it in the 20% air. Absolutely, right? yeah. So I think, let's go one step further. What if you actually took the liquid oxygen and poured it right on something when it's burning. All right, what so, if? What if? I guess so, we'll find out. We'll break more things. <laughs> we'll take that away. <laughs> now, hopefully this one won't break. So here are, here's my idea of a cool firework display. Cheese puffs, okay? Always with the cheese puffs. Always with the cheese puffs. <laughs> what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna pour the liquid oxygen. Hold near the top. Okay. It's very, very cold. It is. You're gonna pour <laughs> and get all the oxygen in that tray. Okay. In that little cup. We're gonna add some flame to it mm -hmm. and we're gonna see what happens when cheese puffs burn with excess oxygen because just normally they don't do too much. Right. They just toast. Sure. It's all like right. a s'mores. All right. So go ahead and pour that very carefully. Just okay. pour it all in. Slowly or just all just the way? Pour it all in. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Now take your hand away. Okay. And then we're going to add hey. some flame to it. And Huzzah. that's what happens when you add an excess of oxygen. Okay. <laughs> it's really bright. It's warm too. It's really bright. And it smells delicious. It smells like toasted cheese puffs. <laughs> As you look down in there, you can see throw another cheese puff in there. There's just no cheese puffs left. A little bit of liquid oxygen and some charcoal. Just gone. Just, oh, it's all gone. I can't see much of anything. It's like when you get a flash bulb in the <laughs> it's eyes. It's very, very bright. Yeah. <laughs> so again, fireworks use excess oxygen to make those really brilliant colors. Okay, can't do it with just the oxygen in the air. So, Excellent. Kind of cool chemistry behind fireworks. Well, thanks very much, Carl Nelson. If you want to see him and all of his amazing flaming antics. You can head on down to the Imagination Station. That's at One Discovery Way every Tuesday through Saturday, Sunday, noon to five as well. And uh, thanks again. Grossology goes all the way through the summer and you're doing fun with water rockets. We're doing a water, water rocket launches today. So come down. we got all the supplies. You can build a two liter water rocket and launch it and possibly win a prize. Good. That has less fire involved because it's <laughs> yes. a water it's all rocket. water. Thanks very much, Carl. From there, we're going to turn it over to Dave with sports.